Hello everyone, welcome to this very first day of motion challenge series and if you have missed the last live session that we have discussed, let me tell you that in this series, I'm gonna arrange something fun and engaging for all of you so that you can level up your skills, challenge yourself in After Effects. So in this series, I'm gonna drop new video every week and that videos will have some tricks and techniques that i'm gonna show you and break down in front of you but generally you get the project file with all of my videos right but in this case you will not get any project file you have to create your own version of it and share that with me at motion.rex and after that i'm gonna give you my feedback and your project will be featured on my instagram page as well so that you get the exposure okay so after the end of this series who has completed all of the projects and shared that with me at motion.rex and one of the lucky people of them will get free access to the course as well so this is going to be very much fun and engaging to see all of your works and i can't wait to see all of your skills okay so starting from today i'm going to show you the first breakdown of this uh, series and let's get started so the main goal of this series is to make you capable of making your own animation and figuring out things of yourself okay so as you can see so i'm not gonna show you how to do all of the things step by step rather i'm gonna show you the steps that i have followed uh, to achieve this kind of look okay so as you can see that uh, this is made of just a circle and I have used this ellipse tool for that. So I have created a circle like this. I have used trim path on top of that, as you can see. And to create a dot like this, as you can see, I have created a simple dot. So to create a dot like this, I have set the start value to 99.5 and the end value is 100, okay? And later on, I have just animated the offset value, as you can see, from minus nine degree to this keyframe right over here and it is around 269 degree okay so minus 269 degree in this way it is animating from this position to this position and i have choose this particular value because uh, i wanted to create a c kind of thing so from this position to this position it is gonna animate okay so that's why the value and after that i have just copied this keyframe Control c and i have just pasted it over here okay so it is continuously looping like this as you can see perfect and after that you just need to add an effect that is echo okay so i have just applied the echo effect and after a couple of uh, tweaking i have found that this value is working fine and the number of echoes is one and starting intensity is also one and decay is zero okay because we don't want any kind of decay over there okay now after that once it is done you can just ramp preview and as you can see it is rotating like this perfect after that we just need to duplicate the layer so i have duplicated it three times as you can see over here so uh, in the shape layer two what i have done i have just change the echo properties okay so the time is same but i have increased the number of echoes and starting intensity is same as well but the decay have i have changed the decay value to 0.93 okay and also you can see that the stroke color is changed shape layer 3 also same thing but the echo properties are changed now number of echoes have increased and starting intensity is also same one but the decay value has gone down to 0.89 and the time is same as well notice that i have changed the color of this stroke as well okay and then create another duplicate and this time change the echo properties as well so number of echoes i have increased to 90 and intensity is the same and decay property is 0.97 okay and the color is changed to something bright like this okay now after doing all of this as you can see you get a motion trail like this which is constantly looping and that is looking pretty cool right now after that as you can see i have added gaussian blur to all of the three layers because uh, if i don't apply that let me show you let me zoom in and if i just turn off as you can see we are seeing an onion like skin over here right but if i just add gaussian blur it's gonna make it smooth so the motion trail is going to be smoother okay so it is looking pretty cool right 
Now, after that, pre comp all of this layer. And after that, I have created a comp one. I have just created duplicate of uh, pre comp one. And then I have just offset them by three frames. Okay. So it is going to create some complicated scene like this. But it is actually very, very easy. Now, also create comp two. And we have done the same thing over here. Just duplicate of comp one. And now create a final composition. And there, you just need to create a BG and just drag and drop comp one and comp two and make sure the rotation of that comp two is set to 180 degrees so that it just rotate on the opposite side. And now we are done. Later on, I have just added an adjustment layer and I have increased the scale property of it to zoom in the overall composition. If you want, you can just make it 120. And in this way, we have just created this cool looking motion graphics within just a couple of minutes. So if you have watched this video till the end, don't forget to share your work at motion.rex. I'm going to give my feedback over there and you can watch other videos over here to take part in the challenge. Okay. I'm going to see you in the next one. Keep animating, keep smiling. Goodbye.